Five bells. Stand by all stations. Attention. All districts. A five-alarm fire. Five bells move in immediately. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Firefighters. <laughs> Firefighters, the true-to-life story of our unsung heroes who stand ready to ride by day or night against our most murderous enemy, the demon of fire. In just a minute, we'll drop in at Chief Cody's office in Fire Department headquarters to hear the climax of his story of old-time firefighting, his account of the famous big fire that nearly destroyed the city years ago. But first... We have time for this message. Let's go, firefighters. Let's go to Chief Cody's office at Fire Department Headquarters, where you remember he is telling Fireman Tim Collins' brother and sister, Jimmy and Trudy about the big fire in the old days, back in the times when, as Chief Cody says... Why, kids, that was when my own dad was the lieutenant of Hook and Ladder Three Ones. And his driver, the man who had charge of the horses, was your own grandfather, Tim Collins. And just a moment ago, Chief Cody described the start of the big fire, when, with a strong wind blowing, an alarm was sounded from District 12 down by the waterfront. When town fire marshal Baker reached the scene, he found... Well, that whole block of buildings is ablaze. Watch yourself, Marshal. That wind is driving the fire right down on us. We've got to move back. Where did it start, Collins? In Rafferty's coal pits, Marshal. A hundred tons of hay went up like paper, and now it's in the Columbia. Well, we'll try to save the harness factory. You engine men, turn that water on the harness factory. Let the lumber yard go. Marshal Baker. Here, Lieutenant Cody. we got to pull back, Marshal. We gotta pull back or we lose half our equipment. We can't pull back. What are you talking about? Look there, Marshal. Two blocks away. It's jumped ahead of us. That murderous wind. The wind is throwing great chunks of flame into those rooftops, Marshal. The fire's racing ahead of us. A street at a time. They, they jump. They jump at the runway. All those horses. They can't. It's a runaway. Look out, Marshal. Look. Hey, it's 209. Engine 209 lost their horses. You all right, Marshal? Uh, you didn't have to knock me down, Cody. Better than letting you get trampled under those hooves. Oh, Collins. Yes, sir. Can you manage your horses? Can a duck swim? All right, all right. This is no time for joshing. Hook up to the ladder truck and pull out. That's... All companies. All companies. Hook up your horses. Pick up and pull out. 3-1. Pick up and pull out. Collins. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. When you unhitch at your new stand, bring those horses back here if you can. Hook up to engine 209. They'll never catch their own team again. Right, sir. As soon as I can. Where shall we make a stand, Marshal? This fire's eaten into the business district already. Get ahead of it, Cody. Right? That was my pop. We'll be running through fire all the way for six blocks. All right, sir. Hey, I'll do... Pop, pop, here's your white helmet. Get started, Cody. Yes, sir. Clear out. All companies, clear out. What kept us so long, Johnny? She whizzed us, Pop. I came as fast as I could. That's a long run all the way from the Union House. Hold back six blocks. Get ahead of the fire. Pop, don't you know? Huh? Know what, Johnny? Everybody's running away. All this is swell. Clear from the waterfront here to Union Square. Running away. Evacuating. Everybody? Everybody, in case you can't stop the fire, Pop. Gee whiz, because I was the only one coming this way. Wagons, drays, buggies, gigs, folks on horseback. Folks just running like old Nick was after him. Me, I was the only one coming this way. Oh, where's my trumpet? So, here, Pop. Johnny. Uh, yes, sir? Johnny, you run back to Union Square. Get hold of the mayor. Tell him I sent you. Uh, I'll go as fast as I can, Pop. You tell the mayor to send out a call for all fire companies for 10 miles around. Volunteers. Anything. And tell him to put a request on the telegraph. Any city that can get help to us inside 24 hours. I don't care what it is. Men, horses, apparatus, send it along by special train. Uh, yes, sir. And Pop, Mom says look out for yourself. Oh, yes, yes, sir. And Johnny? Uh, yes, sir? You look out for yourself, boy. Now, scamper. Oh, yes, sir. All company! Hey, Pop, use your trumpet. Send your voice. Mom said to turn... Oh, yes, yes, yes. You go on. All company! Pull out now! No time to save your whole crowd! Pull out! Pull out! Collins! Collins, we can't stay here. Hook up those horses again. Now that makes our fourth move, Lieutenant Cody. Can you get spare horses to relief? Not a chance. Then do what you can, Tim. 
save the equipment as long as we can. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Cody. Lieutenant Cody. There's a message from Marshal Baker. Lieutenant Baker, your pop told you to get out of this. Now get along home to the Union House. Yeah, I'm going, Lieutenant. Pop said he'd shine my britches right on. But he gave me one last message. Well, speak up fast, boy. Engine 203 is in trouble, Pop says. Lost all their men. Gone to the hospital when the gas works blew up. Oh, good grief. That makes near 100 men out of action. Collins, get those horses hooked up. Yes, no, no, wait, Lieutenant. Uh, yeah, the company from out of town took all the spare horses. Pop says, can you send Collins to pull out engine 203? Collins and your own team. Well, our horses are good for about one more trip, Lieutenant. Marshal's order, Tim. Can you carry them out? I don't know till I try. Well, I'll try right now. Now, Johnny, you run home. Let's hope this fire doesn't take you back to you. All right. All right, steady there. Steady, Stables. Steady, Thomas. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Oh, oh good grief. You can't see what's going on with those bags tied around your head. Well, steady there. If you could see, you'd have something to snort about. Hey, Mr. Steady. Collins. Huh? Johnny. She whizzing. I don't know which way to go. Look, Lieutenant Cody said you should go home. Your pop said so, too. But I can't go home. That fire jumped ahead of me right over the roof. It's almost reached all the way to Union Square. Well, then the whole town's done for. And at Pop's Hotel, too. Just the other side, across the square. Gee, what do we do? Well, stick with me. There's engine 203 all by your lonesome down in front of the Temperance Hall. Yeah, flames flying out of every window. Yeah. Hey, it looks uh, like... Hold, hold your horses, boy. Steady, Sable. Steady, Thomas. Easy, hey, boy. we got to be quick. Uh, oh, too late. That building's coming down. Right on top of the engine. Yeah, but it can't. That's a cast iron front on Temperance Hall. All solid iron, three stories high. It can't fall. Oh, no. Gee whizzing, is the whole front. It's cracking off. Yes, sir. There she goes. Holy smoke. The engine smashed flat beneath that pile of scrap iron. Come on, Johnny. Mount up. What? Over where? Up on Staples. Come right. on. Climb up on his back. Okay. All right, that's the boy. I'll take Thomas here. Oh, oh, easy, boy. Easy. Boy. They keep us hooked together. They'll run away. Son, we don't care about that. We're going to ride like blazes, clean black to Union Square. Heat up, Stables! Heat up, you! I've got our hook and ladder truck out of that furnace, Lieutenant Cody. Good work, Tim. I was afraid I lost you. Oh, not me, Lieutenant Cody. So where are the rest of the boys? I don't know, Tim. Hundreds of men milling around, boys from out of town, mixed up with our own. I don't know what's become of my company. Uh, Marshal Baker! Oh. What's become of my boy, Johnny? I sent him home, sir, and this time he went. He's over at the Union House, over there, right across the square. Oh, then the soldiers will pick him up. So well, that's all right. Soldiers? Yeah. Martial law, Tim. The soldiers came in. They're clearing every man, woman, and child out of town. Out of what hasn't been buried to the ground already. Well, then if it's bad as that, what are we going to do? We're doing it, Tim. Look, those men with red flags. Oh, huh? Everybody, my boy! Uh, those men running out of the buildings there? Yeah. What's that for? They've mined the buildings, Tim, with blasting power. You mean they're going to blow up those buildings at the edge of the square? Yep, and all down Main Street, both ways. It's our last chance. Blow those buildings clean out of existence. And maybe blow out the front of the fire. Uh, uh, Marshal Baker, there's your deputy. Signaling from down Main Street. Ah, uh, then here goes. The fuse is lighted. And in a few seconds, they let go and... There it goes. Look at those buildings. They're sliding down into the street. Yeah, but you haven't heard anything yet, Oh, Thomas. here's the biggest explosion this side of... Oh. Look at that. Look at it. I see. Hey! Ah. hey. That, that fire's not flat. All companies, every man that can walk, close in. We've not that fire down. Now, drown it out. Oh. Drown it out. And as Chief Cody ends his story of the big fire of the old days, Jimmy and Trudy, brother and sister of Tim Collins, the young fireman of today, shiver as if waking from a dream. Well, kids, there you are. Three days they fought the big fire with everything they had. And before it was knocked down, half the town had been lost. Now, uh, how about telling that story in that fire prevention play you're going to give at Northside School, huh? And there's a question for Jimmy and Trudy to think over carefully. Because as Chief Cody knows, the Firefighters Brigade at Northside School is soon to present a fire prevention play in the auditorium. But there's been a lot of argument about that play. And there's going to be more until circumstances force a decision. As you'll hear in our next True to Life episode of The Firefighters. 
And now, in just a moment, Chief Bob Cody will tell you boys and girls how you can help the firefighters in your own hometown. But first, here's a message you ought to hear. And now, Chief Bob Cody with a special notice for the Firefighters Brigade. Chief Cody. Hello, boys and girls. This is Chief Cody. When I talked to you last time, I told you about the soda acid type of fire extinguisher for stopping small fires in ordinary materials, like wood and paper. Well, now I want to tell you about a kind of handy fire extinguisher that can be used on both Class A and Class B fires. That's the foam extinguisher, which throws out a blanket of foam that smothers fire on liquid by cutting off the air. And it also contains water to put out fires on material like wood or paper. Now remember, the foam extinguisher is a mighty handy one to have for stopping a fire before it gets a good start. <laughs> or should I say bad start. Well, that's all, and goodbye for now. Fire Chief Cody and the young rookie fireman Tim Collins will be back on the same station the next time you hear... That's it. Let's go! Let's go! Firefighters! Firefighters is a copyrighted feature of William F. Holland Productions.